Why are you sitting back there? I'm back. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. From what? You're getting your phone back. right now. You don't move. I'm going to pop off and move. Hello friends, before starting the video, I want to warn you, don't try this at home unless you are absolutely certain you know the legislation inside and out. The hero of our first video had to forcibly remove an enforcement agent for aggravated trespass. He asked him to leave very nicely and on a number of occasions, and as you can see from the video, he only used a reasonable force in doing so. Agent also had several more opportunities whilst being escorted off drive to leave of his own free will, but decided he was going to act Billy Big Balls. Unfortunately for him, citizen isn't scared or intimidated by them or the threat of police. I'm going on just because I'm, I'm recording this as well for my safety and for yours. I'm asking you to leave. Are you refusing to leave? I've got a statute right to be here. I'm enforcing right. a warrant of control at the property. Right. I've asked you to leave. Yeah, that's fine. I've asked you to leave. Yeah. Right. Now we've caused an aggravated trespass. Well, I'm not aggravated. If you trespass. don't move, I'm I've going got, to force you to move. I've got a statute right to be here. Right. Again, I'd advise not touching me because that's assault. Off the premise of assault. Off the premise of assault. I'm asking you, okay, release me. No, okay. not until, not go. until. Okay, get off me. Get off. I'm going to ask you nicely once again. Right, I'm asking you nicely move. to release me. Are you going to move? Release me, let's take my move? iPad off and I will move. Don't touch me. That's assault. Reasonable force. It's not reasonable at all. It is, because if you, you're obstructing me on the duty now, that is a criminal offence. No, I'm not. Yes, no, you not. are. I've asked you to move. Again. You step back. Move back to your door. No. Pick up. Move back to your Pick door. Pick up or I'm going to move you again. No, Pick you won't. And get out. Do that and I'll have you arrested. I told you. Right, so just move away to your door. Stand there. Keep going. No. Move to your door. Re right. right. Move to your door. Give us, if you give me enough opportunity. Move to your door. Leave the premises. Is that broken because of your face? Right. Turn around. Move away to your door. Let's go on your door. No, you're not. Move away to your door. No, I'm escorting you off the premises. Move away to your door. Off. Move away to your door. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. You've been given. Do not touch me. You've been given enough opportunity. Move back. Move back to your door and I will move. At the moment, you're assaulting me. Move. Move now. 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 Okay. Right. Yeah. Video will be short, but I'm interested to know your opinion. What would you do on the spot of this guy with a camera? Someone may say that he started pestering a woman in vain, but in place of the car she crashed into, there could be your car. I am waiting for your opinion in the comments. What is going on? You gonna tell them that you hit that car? You just destroyed the back of them people's vehicle right there. Like their door is messed up and everything. I didn't do nothing. You did, I got you on video. Hey, I'm reporting this to the police. I got you on video. Huh? What did I do? You hit that car right there. Place. 
you don't need to be driving, that's for sure. Are you okay? Are you okay? Is something no, wrong? No, I ain't okay. Well, what's the matter? You did, ma'am. I saw you. I've got it on video. You hit it twice. Well, I'm sorry, but you hit the car two times. Okay, well, go ahead. Just drive safe. You don't need to be out here endangering everybody else's lives. In the next video, a citizen was peacefully exercising his constitutional rights at a traffic stop in Corver Country, Minnesota, when he was confronted uh, by a police sergeant. At first, it seemed uh, her only goal was to soothe her ego by escalating under the guise of officer safety, didn't and the way she thought it would. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, please be sure to hit the like button and share. It truly helps spread this around for more people to see it and I appreciate it. You see, I'm right here and nobody's saying anything because they don't know I'm here yet. Why are you sitting back there? You were sleeping in your car? What's what's your uh I'm back I'm backing up. 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 I don't want to talk to you. There's no need for you to talk to me that way, right? Let's calm down. Let's de-escalate the situation. Let's de-escalate the situation. Listen, listen. You might be able to intimidate some people. You're not gonna intimidate me. It's not gonna happen. Treat me with some respect and I'll and I'll do the same. I'm not I wasn't nowhere near you. Calm down, ma'am. This he's right next to you too. No one's gonna hurt you, okay? You got you got a partner here. You, come, relax, relax. I know I can. I, I can do it right here. I can do it right here. It, 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 there, there's no law that says 10 feet, but guess what? You're not, you're not in fear of your life. You're not in fear of your life or your safety. You're just being, your, your ego is getting a hold of you right now, ma'am. Obviously you do, ma'am. But you know I'm not a threat to you, so stop, just stop. Just go back to your job, ma'am. Go back to your job, ma'am. So you're a supervisor, escalating situations like this. You are, ma'am, you are. As you were walking up, I said, please back up. I wasn't gonna get too close, ma'am. Don't worry. I understand what you're dealing with. I understand what you're doing. I'm just holding you accountable. But I'm just saying, as a sergeant, you're a supervisor, right? So what I'm saying is a little de a little bit of de-escalation goes a long way. You coming in, you coming in at, at 100 miles an hour is going to get you and your partner hurt. It's not, not with me, but I'm saying in the future it could happen. There you go. There was no reason for that sergeant to, you know, come up on me like that. She knew. She knew I wasn't a threat. I was talking to the guy. She she doesn't know who I am. No, I'm from Long Island, New York. <laughs> That's uh, it's crazy how he knows me all the way out here, but. Oh, I'm, I'm an independent journalist, so I, I hold the police and government accountable, and um, I run a channel. This, I'm not. I also do trainings at police departments for First Amendment audit trainings. I do ride-alongs, you know. So it's not anything against the police. I just don't. I like to help bridge the gap instead of lengthen the gap. You know, I don't want to. It just I don't like being talked to in a certain way because I think that's that serves because a lot of people see this video, and I don't want them to say, hey, like. Why would she try? Why are you yelling? I get it, you know, officer safety and all that other stuff, yes. but you know, there's there's a way to handle when things. Scene, yeah, but you have it well under control. Suspect in custody. Yeah, I can. I, I mean, like to, you know, think I'm pretty reasonable, but yeah. I don't like to have people walking up where we have people under arrest and custody and other people walking up. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get too close. Search, yeah, know, I wasn't people, gonna get too close. But other than that, yeah, obviously you have. Again, it's just the way. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So, good. I have not heard of you personally, but obviously yeah. we have other auditors yeah. um, around. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like to think that I'm different, but, you know, again, I just don't, I just don't like being, you know, 
I just think DS. I am very big into de-escalation. Like I'll never disrespect you, and I'll never like I'm just you know. It's just I get that you're. I get that what you're trying to do, but yeah, I. I mean, but there's there's a way to keep the scene the, the scene safe. There's a way. Hey, sir, I totally respect your right to film the police, and I want to be completely transparent with you. But can you just take a couple steps back from me? I really appreciate it. How am I going to respond to that? You know, I'm going to say, well, you know, okay. You know, it's instead of, hey, this is my crime scene. Back away. You know, it's just the way that, again, I'm not saying you did anything illegal or wrong. I'm just saying that I disagree. It's just one of those, hey. Yeah. But it wasn't like that. But, you know, I've got him yelling. Yeah. I've got him yelling. Yeah. I've got all this stuff going on. My partner's trying to search a car. Yeah. I got a lot going on to try to. You guys got body cameras. Cool. I'll be able to do the, uh, I'll, I'll do a uh, information request if I want to see what happened here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I want to see what's going on here. I want to see what happened to this guy. He said he was sleeping in his car, so I guess we'll find out. We'll see how it all transpired. What's uh? You, you gave me your badge number already. Um, would you mind giving me the CAD number so I it make it easy for me to look it up? This one, I go down to this department and do a FOIA request. Give you this. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I think the video pretty says much says it all. I used to love to watch cop shows. The reason being that I had psychopathic criminals and other law breakers and used to get such satisfaction watching them get their just come up and when they got caught by uh, um, the good guys and the girls with the beige who were there to protect us. I absolutely have stopped watching these cop shows. The line has emerged between cop and sociopathic bullies and criminals which I can no longer deny or stomach. In growing up, I never thought I would see the day that those hired to protect and serve us uh, would turn out to be among Sotis's biggest and most dangerous enemies. I need to roll down the window so I can talk to you. I need to roll down the window so I can hear you. The reason I stopped you, you failed to signal when ex exiting that private drive. Yeah, you you signaled, but you were already there. You got to signal 100 feet back. I got cameras on, bud. I need your information, please. Okay, yeah, you were stopped to a complete stop, no signaling. And then all of a sudden, as I come up to the car, you turn on your turn signal. That's failing to signal 100 feet prior. Okay, well, that's failing to signal 100 feet prior. So go ahead and step out of the car. We can, we can do the traffic stop right here if you like. Come on out. I'll, I'll be standing in the back of your car. What? You pulled out of the parking, like, little side street there. Okay. And then you also, again, as I said, right here, failing to signal 100 feet prior before making your change. I still need your information, though, so I can give it to them. Five, I'm 10 four. Uh, this individual is requesting a supervisor. Out of the vehicle, or we're going to get you out of the vehicle and be under arrest. What am I going to be under arrest for, man? Obstruct. Obstructing what? My official duty. Step out of the vehicle. But, sir, I didn't have a lawful stop. Yes, it is. Step out of the vehicle. I want your supervisor, man. He'll be here shortly. I didn't do anything wrong. It's a step blinker, out, bro. Step out of the vehicle now. You guys are seriously about it like this. Step out of the vehicle. I'm going to arrest you. For what? What did I do to get arrested? Obstruct. Obstructing what? My official duty. For what, sir? Because I'm asking. I'm, I'm telling you, you get you out of the vehicle. Why are you escalating, sir? Step out of the vehicle. Because you're not stepping out of the vehicle. I'll reach in and open your door if you don't. Know. You're not reaching in my car. You, I don't. Uh, fit, no. We'll, you, we'll give you a lawful person to step out of the vehicle. But you cannot re enter my car. Well, at this point, we're going to take you from the car. You can't enter my car. If you get out of the vehicle, I'm going to bust this window and drag you out of it. What? The, boy, this is over a blinker, man. You're really talking like that? You're, you don't want to identify yourself. Because I didn't do anything to break the law. Yes, you did. I saw it on video. Step out of the vehicle. You're going to stand up to court in that? Yeah. I will be more than happy to go. You don't have a lawful stop. Yes, it is. Step out of the vehicle. He'll be here shortly.
I didn't do anything wrong with the Step snake, out, bro. Step out of the vehicle now. You guys are seriously about like this. Step out of the vehicle, I'm gonna arrest you. For what? What did I do to get arrested? Obstruct. Obstructing what? My official duty. For what, sir? I'm asking, I'm I, telling I, you, get you out of the vehicle. Why are you escalating, sir? Step out of the vehicle. If you're not stepping out of the vehicle, I'll reach in and open your door if you don't open. You're not reaching my car. Dude, you know, I don't. Uh, we're giving you. We'll give you a lawful instruction to step out of the vehicle. But Please you step out of the vehicle. We're getting enter my car. Well, at this point, we're going to take you from the car. You can't so, enter my car. If you don't get out of the vehicle, I'm going to bust this window and drag you out of it. What? This is over a blinker, man. You're really talking like that? You're. You don't want to identify yourself. Because I didn't do anything to break the law. Yes, you did. I saw it on video. Step out of the vehicle. You're stand up in court, Matt? Yeah. I will be more than happy to go to court. I'm pretty sure it's not going to far, but right here. Step out of the vehicle. You're getting detained right now. What am I getting detained for? Do not. Stop. Okay. That's fine. That's right. Don't take my phone. You can't take my phone. Well, right now you can't have it when you're being put in custody. I'm going to do the same thing. You cannot take my phone. That's why we're setting up in front of you. It's setting right in front of you. Look at Silver. Stop the recording. That's my first amendment. You watch your fingers, guys? I can. I can. Hey, record this, bro. Record this. All of our videos are recording right now. Yeah, you saw my video. That's my first. You got that way too tight, brother. Okay. Well, you're twisting it, bud. Hang on. We're gonna we're gonna fix the cuffs. Yes, you are. What misdemeanor obstruct of course, right? Yeah. Well, is it a warrant felony? No, the Sedge County stuff is uh, for driving. Yeah, me or whoever to wait here for the show? Um, it's up to you guys. I mean, was there only board? Just know he's got somebody on and on the way. Uh, do we stop the recording so he is actually if his phone dies, his phone dies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to sit off, just understand that there's somebody coming out. He was on the phone the entire time I was up on like on the car. There was somebody on the way to come get the car. Um, Eight and seven for a welfare check. We got somebody coming for the truck car. We're not releasing anybody. <laughs> so just uh, let them know. Give them the case number if they ask. But here, case number is getting impounded under you. Uh, and then uh, I think it's tow service is coming. Uh, just yeah, just cab me the guy's information. All right. So you make a scale to weigh that? I do. I do have a scale. Argument with her boyfriend. She's been walking down the highway and got here. Get a hold of the phone. Find that she is eating. Oh. This is eating food and her feet hurt from all the walking. I know. This is for what? Mean. 7.5. Because there's a little bit of buds inside here. And it's a 7.25. So far about 75. Uh, That's the case. Yeah. I'm going to talk to my guy. I'm going to try to put that blood on it. Oh, well, it actually came out of the bag. Huh? It actually came out of the bag. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that was the put the buds put the back the inside blood. the bag because it opened up. Yeah. So there's a bud there and the bud's on the side down there. It works. Back inside the, the bag of marijuana here. Like where it actually belongs. More room for the other butt that fell out of his bag. Is that a lot of water? Uh, yeah. Because I was about to bust the window out. I was really hoping yeah, to fight I was for it. Yeah, I was getting ready to go. I did that on field training. I was going to go to the field. Thank you. I thought you were going to ask. Yeah. Come on. Let's see right here. 7.6. 7.6. I, I guess 7.5 after with the budget that says there, so. Cool. Oh, it is? No. Is that? I was getting ready to go. I did that on field training. I was going for it. Thanks. I thought you were going to ask. Yeah. 7.5? Okay. 
I, I guess 7.5 after with the budget that's in there, so. Who? Oh, it is? No. Is that what's coming? Uh, this one I, I located in my vehicle. Uh, that I received. I, have race. Race. I did not take this. I did not take this from anybody. Somebody it's like they had it and gave it to me. Cool. Misdemeanor truck, all that stuff. Just list how many people were here. And then just yeah. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to name drop you. Um. Once you guys get it done, just cat it. To, just email it. To see your head down. So I'll make sure you're right. I'm getting my rights by the Okay. Well, we did everything by the book. Um, so if that's how you feel, I understand. I, I, okay. Yes, I did. Uh, so we're gonna, like I said, you are under arrest for obstruct, um, and then you're under arrest for driving while suspended, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia. All right, guys. I, I'm gonna be recording the entire time, so. Oh, don't worry, they'll be in the case. I'll give you a case. You know what an auditor is? Sir? Alright. Call us to the drug stop. Careful. He's pulling out of the exit I pulled into. 5 and 10, 15. Would you like it halfway or all the way, sir? All the way. Yes, sir. 21, 29. Valley Center 3283. It's not even 100 feet right here. It's not even 100 feet. Well, just remember you said that on recording that it's not even 100 feet, but you turn your turn signal on while you're on the roadway. So, thank you, sir, for your admission of guilt. That blinker never turned off. Yes, it did. So we're clear. I watched you go through that, uh, up to that, up to Pawnee from the uh, that little driveway area, sir. And there was nobody behind you. So, and that's also on my body camera footage. Cause it does 30 seconds ahead, and I observed you doing it. So, it's okay. Me from the uh, that little driveway area, sir. And there was nobody behind you, so, and that's also on my body camera footage, because it does the same and I observed you doing it, so, it's okay. It's a secondary charge. You know that, right? Yes, but we actually validated and showed that you violated the law by failing a signal 100 feet prior. You then have to identify yourself. You failed to identify yourself, you failed to get fallen off or stepping outside of the vehicle, uh, uh, and now you've been uh, uh, arrested for obstruction. So... I'm not a violent person, but I want to whip his ass right about Take here. That way. Take that badge and belt off. Out here screwing people's lives up. Stepping on the side of the vehicle you can further conduct the traffic stop. But I didn't get the chance to. No, you're given several options and there are opportunities, but you just kept refusing and telling us no. Not even two minutes of the stop. 
If you're an auditor, then auditors aren't carrying illegal marijuana on the state of Kansas. Please have a seat over there so we can finish with it. Well, I mean, it's still illegal. If you are, then I'll make sure I notify the correct board and they'll get you off of their service. You have no idea what an auditor is. Can you sit over there, please? If you look to the right, there's an old black woman that just got brought in. 80 year old woman is behind her. Arrested for driving on suspended as well because she didn't pay a speeding ticket. Sorry, was that? It was a damn brother. Well, that's fine. Fucking you don't have to give me a proper uh, address. And this is at like 10 o'clock at night, people. So. Valid address, so I can receive, send you, so the, the, the state can send you mail and say, hey, show up to court. <laughs> Is that a valid address for you, sir? Well, this was found inside your patrol. This was just found in your car. This was already that way when that by my soul. They, they told me about it. So, what's your current address, sir? Again, you still have to identify and give all your proper information, such as your address that you currently live at. So you can plead the fifth all you like. That just means I don't ask you any questions in regards to what we locate inside your vehicle or anything like that. So I still need your address. Okay. So the 623 Alexander is not a good address. Okay. How about the field? Or how about in Bartlesville, USA it is. Trying to get you the appropriate stuff, sir. <laughs> What's a good phone number so that way the sheriff's office can contact you in regards to the, uh, the case? These are the answers you what guys provide. Well, I'm not going to go right through your phone. So what's a good phone number so we can reach you at saying, hey, we need to show up to court so that we can prove this deputy wrong if that's the case. Since apparently you're so adamant that you didn't do anything wrong. And I'm violating your rights. So what's a good phone number for you, sir? Okay, you don't know it? It's okay. Okay, that's all you had to say. New phone, I understand. If I had a new phone, I wouldn't know either. Thanks for watching, I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.